Hi friends, today let us discuss about personality. Personality like intelligence is also one of the highly discussed issue in psychology. Personality is a all-round performance of the individual. That's why Alport defined it as a characteristic of all the physical and psychological traits of an individual. So it is on the basis of these traits we can assess the personality of the individual. According to Cattell, the traits are of two types, source traits and the surface traits. Source traits are the basic traits that are found in an individual. They are deep in the personality of the individual. They are not found in day-to-day -day activities of an individual. But the surface traits that actually are manifested in the day-to-day -day activities of the individual. The surface traits definitely found in the activities of the individual and the various traits for example now feeling of insecurity is a source of trait but it is not found directly in the activities of the individual but the various traits surface traits that are associated with the feeling of insecurity are tenseness, timidity, inability to concentrate, etc. So these are the surface traits. And now, according to Alport, personality is a dynamic organization within the individual of those psychophysical systems that determine the unique adjustment of an individual to his environment. So it is unique. How the characteristics are organized in an individual based on that actually the personality of the individual is. Classification of personality is also quite interesting. The traditional old classifications based on professions, based on blood group are nowadays found to be unscientific and rather we can say that they are outdated. So now the Jung's classification that is the extroversion introversion is his classification and in this classification he says the libido that is the general fund of life energy of an individual it is directed inward in case of few individuals whom he called as introverts an introvert reacts negatively to the social situations and they tend to be self-bound and they will not speak much but they are interested in reading and writing much. They have limited number of friends, they like indoor games more etc. So such qualities are found with these introverts and on the other hand extroverts their ego is directed outward that is towards society they love social situations they enjoy being with others they like outdoor games more 
they have leadership qualities with them and they usually are sociable so these individuals having these characteristics are called as extroverts but the class this particular classification if we see we can't get exactly a pure extrovert or a pure introvert individual behaves according to the situation sometimes the an introvert appears to be an extrovert but the same individual at other time looks to be an introvert so some of the critics criticized this classification of extroversion introversion given by jung that's why he has brought the third dimension to his classification that is ambiversion so an ambivert is a person who reacts like an introvert at times and reacts like an extrovert at times so this is the classification which is more relevant and which is found to be more reliable and good classification of personality so thank you for listening me thank you friends